Hi guys, welcome to ET Sindhan channel and today we are making super delicious, healthy, nutritious, full of protein, full of fiber, these black chickpeas, desi chane, um, kale chane as we call them, desi chickpeas and they are easy to make you'll take one cup you will soak them in water overnight is preferable if not at least couple of hours we are going to pressure cook them but you can also cook them in um, slow cooker or if you want to make them on a pot they will take a little longer so i wouldn't recommend that method so we've soaked them in water for a few hours I have my pressure cooker ready here. Make sure it's a heavy base. Once it's hot, then add in some oil. I find pressure cooker to be really quick. I've been using it forever, so that's an option, but you can also use your Instapot. So that's an option as well. I'm adding one teaspoon of mustard seeds in hot oil. They will sizzle, add in cumin seeds, 30-ish seconds. Once they are sizzling, oil is getting flavored. We will add in chopped or grated ginger and onions. Give them a quick mix so that onions and ginger are coated with the flavors from these seeds, mustard and cumin seeds. Then we will add in some garlic. Minced garlic is great or garlic paste works well. You can also use ginger garlic paste. Another quick mix, making sure that all these spices are well combined with the onions. Next, we will add in salt so that onions can cook a little faster you will also add turmeric that's healthy for beautiful yellow color antiseptic properties and for heat some spice add in chili powder or paprika or maybe cayenne pepper mix these ingredients well together making sure nothing sticks to the bottom of your pressure cooker then we will add in some chopped tomatoes i like using fresh tomatoes but tomato paste works really well in this dish too you can also use canned tomatoes so all these ingredients can go directly in your Instapot or pressure cooker or slow cooker. And once your masala is ready, then you will add in your chickpeas. So tomatoes will take a little longer to cook. You want to make sure that they are tender, they are no longer raw. You don't want to add tomatoes right away with the onions because um, as soon as you add tomatoes, onions will stop cooking or the process slows down. So quick mix, tomatoes are becoming tender. They will take a few minutes. Then we will add in chickpeas. Before we do that, I'm adding some masala. This is chana masala, but you can also use your own garam masala blend, curry masala, or any other favorite masala. So chana masala is my favorite. I've added that in, making sure it's well combined with onions and tomatoes. Tomatoes are becoming tender. Now discard the water, add in the chickpeas, Sometimes you can get canned chickpeas, you can get those. You can use white chickpeas in this recipe. You can also use beans, garbanzo beans. All right, chickpeas are in, give them a quick mix. Once they are thoroughly mixed with the spices, then we will add in water. Now, if these chickpeas were boiled already, you will just mix them in and your dish is ready. But we are making a curry, almost like a soup. So I've added in water usually one cup of chickpeas four cups of water however because they were soaking in you will have to adjust the water accordingly i like to enjoy these chickpeas with rice so i prefer a little bit more water sometimes so i've added in lots of water here now this is how we put in the lid on the pressure cooker a little bit tricky if you've never used it now see after it has um, become hot things have been sizzling for a while steam will start to form but don't think that this is the whistle. You have to give three to four whistles before you turn the heat off. That's one whistle. So a couple of those whistles. Once one whistle comes, turn the heat low three to four times. That whistle happens and then let uh, turn off the pressure cooker. Once it has cooled down, then only you can open it. And then we will garnish it with some dried methi leaves also called fenugreek leaves kasuri methi as we call it you can also use cilantro here and that's it your dish is ready so until the steam has escaped you will not be able to open the lid but once that happens lid opens your dish is ready make sure you can check one um, chickpea make sure it's soft it's tender it's not maybe you turned it off too quickly 
if you didn't soak them they will take a little longer otherwise by soaking them we can make this process a little quicker all right guys my dish is ready i'm going to go ahead and enjoy it with some rice but you can also enjoy it with paratha thank you for watching et stinian keep supporting us and please do subscribe